Good morning, friends. Coming to you from San Diego. I am still drinking my coffee that I made this morning. Uh, yes, it's iced coffee. That's why it's clinking around. I also have my girl. This is Pearl. She's with me right now. Henry actually is uh, beating me to Dog Beach. So he took Ella, Finn, and Abby. Abby is our foster. Ella is my golden. And Finn is his... Puerto Rican street dog. Um, but I'm going to bring you along with me today. I also have a fun story time and a little bit later in the video. Uh, but we're headed to Dog Beach. We're going to go get coffees at OB Coffee Roasters, one of my favorite spots in OB. And I'm just going to bring you along for the day. I've missed you all. Thanks for sticking around and for being here. Uh, this channel is like rapidly growing. So my plan is to start posting way more frequently. Uh, I just have been super busy. So I kind of stopped i guess for a little bit there's only two videos on here but you can watch those if you want uh but my plan is to start posting weekly so cheers i'm gonna drink this while i drive and then we will be at dog beach one of our favorite places honestly in the entire world but definitely in san diego okay we have arrived and i have to go find henry because he is already on the beach and i don't know if i'm gonna bring pearl because she is like super cozy and is not feeling the vibes. I think she's gonna nap, so there's that. Okay, I absolutely lied. Uh, as soon as I opened the door to leave, Pearl got very excited and wanted to come, so I couldn't bear to leave her, but she hates the beach, so I'm just gonna have to carry her the entire time, and people always online are always like, let her walk! She's a dog! Yeah, no, she's barely a dog, respectfully, uh, and I don't see Henry anywhere, but I can usually smell Ella from a mile away. I can just sense her, so I have hope, but this beach is enormous. This is like a small fraction of it. It's our favorite spot, but it's huge. Okay, I have officially found her, but let's just see where she comes from, if you can see her. Hello! Oh yeah. Girl, you weren't even close. Where were you? Hello, I've been looking for you. I was just on my way back to Henry because, or where his van is parked, because I could not find them. Come here, Fink. Wow. Good boy. And then there's Pearl, who is, oh, she's actually taking a shit. Let's give her some privacy. I was looking everywhere for you. I love that the one time I didn't come, you literally went the one way we never go. Normally, when you're not here, I'll do that line. So you're doing things without me. <laughs> wow, the secrets. Okay, well, so we have somehow, here's the whole family. We have Ella, we have Finn, we have Henry, Abigail, the black little chihuahua right there, and then Pearl, who has just popped a squat, and I can presume she will, oh, okay, oh, please let me come get you. Thank you. Say hello. Hi, how are you guys? We're back on YouTube. Exciting days. I will say, it has been kind of funny seeing my face and thumbnails on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> when I never post on YouTube myself. You're a YouTuber and you don't even know it. You're a YouTuber without even having to be a YouTuber. Exactly. I mean, that's the dream. I'm living the dream. Okay, I'm gonna put Pearl down and just, we're just gonna hope. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> Make her beg. Ella, it's not cute or nice. It's, so it's, it's not flattering either, Ella's Where world. Where is Pearl? Oh, she is going home. Oh, oh, there she goes. There we go. Totally fine. Happy, wow. I just wanted you to say hi. It's her first YouTube appearance, if I'm not mistaken. She's a goldfish. I've just returned to the van and it is hot outside. I am in black pants, boots, and a beanie, so it is time for an outfit change. I've arrived back at Henry's van and feeling much better. We changed. I dressed for the morning earlier, it was chilly, and now my classic Chacos shorts and free people tank top that I wear every single day. Cool. The shakiness. <laughs> oh, ho oh, dads. She's new. She's new around here. Okay. This is the New York City in Henry. He just went up to a line of people to ask them what they were waiting in line for. And it is officially poke, but um, that is my nightmare. It's you good. just going up to strangers asking them what they're in line for. What? There... No, no, I respect it. I respect it. I just it's, don't, I don't have it in it, me. It's called Best Poke in San Diego. Walk-ins only. There's a line. People like it. People want to go there. It's called Add It to the List and yeah, Show Up Early. It's a quality I admire. It's just not one I possess. So that's why you marry one, you know? Yeah. That is a pungent smell, that place. Whew. Nice. Fancy one? It's honestly really fun. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to say it, but honestly. Oh. If there's too many to choose from, you just choose two. 
small camera, big tripod. I would wear that. It is very nice. You smell a little bit, but that's okay. Recording. 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 All right, so the story time that I wanted to share today uh, was that we have big news. Although most of, like we've already shared it on TikTok and on Instagram, but I figured why not tell the full story here. The really lengthy version is on the podcast, my podcast, My Solo Road. Uh, we do have a full engagement story. We got engaged. Yay. That's the story. I don't have it on. I wanted to put it on in the video. I also have not been wearing it every day because I've been living in a van for a very long time and I don't have very many nice things. So having a diamond on my hand just feels very bizarre, but I do, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Um, but I wanted to share with you the whole rundown of how, how she goes from solo female van life to a married woman, <laughs> <laughs> a domestic lady. Yeah, lady. I want you to start off by sharing when you got the ring, how you got the ring, all obviously jump in because I can never help myself. Okay, wait, where should I begin? When did you fall in love with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me every moment that you've ever loved me. We were staying in a house in September. We got an Airbnb for an entire month, which was the first time that we did that, but very needed and very nice. I remember asking you, uh, hey, Sydney, if I asked you to marry me today, what would you say? And you said yes. And I was like, oh, great, nice. And so... No, you did not say that. He goes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is true. And then we started talking about like getting a house together, and I was just saying that like I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable getting a house um, unless like we were engaged. Unless he put a ring on it. Right, and then and uh, you like pulled out your computer and you're like, well, Henry, I have like, you know, this is like- I'm a woman with a Pinterest, what can I say? <laughs> I was like, this right. is the ring I've always wanted. Yeah. Here you go. I got like the design, the gist of everything that you wanted, uh, yellow gold or, you know, like this, an oval cut, that kind of situation. Then uh, went, in, went onto the internet and started just, just, you know, finding, doing all the research, going on subreddits, uh, finding like good places, blah, 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 blah. I ended up going with a jeweler that my best friend used in New York City. So, but yeah, so then we, I basically scheduled like a, a consultation with him. And then once him and I went back and forth, I asked Sydney to like join us for one of those meetings. Yeah. She picked out a diamond and then- So uh, I knew I knew that the conversation was happening, yeah. but I definitely thought that the timeline was going to be a bit longer. So I was not expecting to get engaged the month that we ended up getting engaged. Right, right. And so like my plan was to hustle as fast as possible. Like the moment she showed me the ring, I wanted to just like immediately get <laughs> on it and order it because I also wanted to surprise you. You. Yeah. And I also like just in my head, I was like, it'd be great to be engaged by the end of the year. So that was just sort of like a mental, just like, I don't want this to like go yeah. on and on and on. Okay. So got the ring. He shipped it to a UPS. Like if you've ever seen one of the videos yes. I've done on TikTok or something, how I get mail on the road, we like ship it general delivery kind of to a UPS <laughs> store. And then you pay like a $10 pickup fee. And we do that with things that don't matter very much. And you know, some packages over the years have obviously gotten lost during that process. He literally shipped my ring to a UPS store and paid a $10 pickup fee. The relying on some guy like named Johnny behind the UPS uh, cashier thing, it just cracks me up the fact that you did that. Right, right, right. But we love it. So yeah, I got the ring, picked it up in Moab, and then I was just thinking about like the important things for the proposal was like, I wanted to surprise her. I wanted it to be in a private place, just the two of us. I wanted it to be somewhere special. I wanted it to be on camera, preferably video, and I wanted her to be feeling cute. So th <laughs> that was part of the video part. And a couple of those things were things I had told him, like having it on video was really important to me. So when I got the ring, that was for me like when the clock started. So two days after I got the ring, I called her parents, FaceTimed them, asked for their blessing. They said yes. Um, <laughs> and then once that call happened, I was just like, oh my God, it's just now all I have to do is ask her. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of waiting involved, waiting for the right, right moment, all that kind of stuff. And then we ended up going to Joshua Tree, which is where we sort of fell in love, a very special place for us uh, in our relationship. We got to Joshua Tree and then I was like, okay, it's gonna happen here. And then the plan was, okay, Sydney inevitably will ask me to like shoot a reel with her. And those always end up like a beautiful vista in the background. Right. Henry, I need you to like, you know, all the dogs are there. She's looking cute. That's just like a good opportunity uh, for that. And then, that wasn't really happening, right? So yeah. I was just like, you know what? 
I'll force the issue and say like, hey Sydney, I need to shoot a reel for a brand. Uh, I woke up that morning. There's so, there's something like weird was going on with the with the sky. Like there's lots of clouds up yeah, there. Yeah, it was which, very, like a, a hazy, cloudy day, yeah. which in the in the desert, in the desert yeah. means it's gonna be a good sunset. Exactly. So I was just like, you know, what? it's gonna happen now. So I texted her. I was like, hey, I need you uh, tonight at sunset for to shoot a reel for a brand. Um, right. Wait. Let me cut in really quick. Sure. So in my head, I for sure thought so i knew that the guy we had talked to that day on facetime months prior i knew that he was in new york city and henry was going to be going to new york city for animal rescue stuff about a month later he was going to be going there so i thought for sure that i had figured it out i had already told my couple best friends i was like he's going to new york city he's going to probably go because his best friend lives in new york city his brother lives in new york city so i was like he's probably going to have his best friend or his brother go with him to look at the ring see the ring give him a pat on the back pick up the ring and then when he comes back from new york city i will know that he has it and that the wheels are turning like it's gonna happen so yeah. then i'll be more prepared and obviously that like it, that did not happen his but when we got engaged he still was not leaving for new york city for several weeks so i thought i had it figured out so when i say it was not on my radar it was not on my radar and this particular day i had been shooting video all day so i was like really in that work mindset i was not in like an emotional mindset or just i just wasn't expecting it when i got back to our campsite because my awkward ass always goes to a different campsite to film videos and so when i got back to the campsite he wanted to go over and shoot the reel. As a quick timeline, she picked out her diamond. I left. I love that you I, say diamond. I left, called the guy back, put it down a deposit, okay? Start the clock. Five weeks later is when I received the ring in Moab. So now I have the ring, I call her parents, and then I basically have the ring for a month waiting for this moment. So it's basically two months now since right. that since you uh, picked out, yeah, the ring. So that's all happening pretty quickly. I knew if I waited like another month, you like your expect I would be catching up to her expectations of me having the ring. Yeah. Which so the element of surprise and all that stuff would have uh, been less. Yeah, would have been would have been less. Still would have been surprised. Although but. she did open my fridge and s found a bottle of champagne that I was getting cold for the day. And she's I, like, what is this? I'm like, that's nothing. That's he literally said, that's nothing. <laughs> I was like, okay. I thought that champagne is obviously for when we get engaged because we don't drink champagne. And so I was like, I need it for <laughs> when we get engaged. But I still thought he's probably just trying to get things off the list. And so even though we're not going to get engaged for several weeks, if not a month or two, he probably just wants that in the fridge for whenever it happens. Like right. that's what I was expecting. Right. So yeah, then we basically, the sun was going down. Um, we pull out the tripod. I asked her to get her nicer camera out just so we could like get that cinem. We we'd be able to slow it down. A yeah, it's a very bit, cinematic camera. Um, with like lower light and get some c cinematic shots. So then we pointed the camera at the sun, which is something that we don't normally do. But I figured it's okay, a risky we, move. Yeah, well, the sun is going down. I'm like, all right, let's just do it at the sun. We have a little bit of time. If it doesn't work. Um, then I'll point it the other way. So we did a practice <laughs> run, which was crucial. So mm -hmm. like, which when you're shooting a brand reel, you normally do it a couple times. Right. Um, when he told me he wanted it to be like a cute couples video. Right. So I was thinking we are going to slowly, like we're going to walk to the camera. I might kiss him. Like you have a little cutesy moment. And then like, whenever I shoot those videos, you only need like four good seconds because then you slow it down to make like a really good eight right. second video to like some trending audio. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm behind the camera. I'm like, Sydney, stand right there. Stand right there. Okay, cool. All right. Now with your <laughs> foot, put a little X right there. Right? Yeah. Because that's where I, that's where the camera was focused, and so I wanted like a little mark. So like we're walking. When I see the X, that's where it's all gonna happen, right? It's going down. We did it once. Did a little practice run, and then I went back to the camera, looked at the frame, looked at the video. I was like, "Yo, this is actually beautiful, awesome." I was not prepared for it to look like it did. It was With particularly the, spectacular. I'll yeah, play that like, video at the end of this video so yeah, you can see it. Like the silo, like the silhouette, the coloring, the haze just kind of made the whole frame very warm and lovely. And so I was just like, "Oh shit! All right, here we go. We're gonna do it. Let's do, let's run that again." And again, the sun's going down, so it's like tick tock, tick tock. And obviously, my heart is racing at this point i think i'm about to do it and that's that's literally what i'm th I'm, I'm saying i think i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna do it so we walk up we turn around and we walk back and as i'm walking back i'm just like i've rehearsed this so many times in my yeah. mind but my heart is racing and my hand just like reaches into my pocket it's sort of autopilot. like yeah it's sort of like autopilot like i'm like i can't oh my god my hand's doing the work for me <laughs> like that's like kind of how it felt and then um uh once i 
gripped it, I was, uh, I we stopped at the exit and I like kind of grabbed your hand and turned yeah, he started to other. turn me, and I thought he was going in for a hug, like, for the video, like, right. oh, cute hug, so I just go in to start to hug him, and then I'm like, and then he gets down on, down on one knee, and yeah. I was like, I said, shut up. <laughs> he probably Are you really doing it? That was what I said. <laughs> right, right, and yeah, I mean, from that, like, once I got down on a knee, I was, like, just looking up, you know, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, someone DM'd me because I put I put the real audio, um, oh, like on Instagram, I think yesterday, and uh, somebody was like, "Yeah, no matter what, it always that moment is always a little bit awkward." And I was like, "You know what? I never really like phrased it that way, but I do feel like inevitably, no matter how in love you are, like that's gonna be. It's like a moment you build up your whole life before you even know this person. Now you know this person, then you know what's gonna happen with this person, and then there it's happening in front of you. It's always like, uh, uh." Okay. Oh my god, I guess we're getting right. engaged. <laughs> like, right, right. Well, it's like it's, you're ecstatic, but it's so nerve-wracking that like both parties, I think, have racing hearts and you feel like a little it's like a little awkward. You spend your whole life imagining what it might look like, what it might feel like, what yeah. how, how you're going to react, all those kinds of things, and then in the moment you're like, "Wait, None of those things are necessarily true. Like, none of those things... Right. Like, I always thought I would just be sobbing, crying. <laughs> and I, like, cried later, but that right. for, like, the first hour, I was like... Oh my God! Like, right. did I just couldn't even believe that it had happened? Yeah. I was like, I didn't know he had the ring. I didn't know. I didn't know. And you I were, had no idea. and even when the camera turned off, you were wired for the rest of the night. I was calling <laughs> like my close friends and family, and I was like, I was just talking rapid fire. Yeah. Could, uh, talking so loudly, I was just. I felt like I went into some sort of mania. Yeah, it was cool. A lot of adrenaline. Yeah, we were both like that. I just had a stupid grin on my face, like my head, my face hurt. Um, <laughs> and well, and you had like you know you knew that it was probably yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. I had when I t asked her parents for their blessing, that was the first like leap I took. I mean, obviously the ring is a big one, and having that conversation with you is a really big one. Where right. I'm just like, oh my god, yes ring but then once you make that like talk to their parents it's like that's the point of no return <laughs> yeah you know obviously her parents are also like you know from indiana more conservative you know <laughs> I what i mean like, like like they like want that call you know i mean I for sure know. well yeah it's not a permission call it's a blessing call it's right, just right, right. it's a respectful call to say hey I, I would like to marry your daughter is that something that you're in support right, of? right, right. And my parents I, are not that traditional but yeah, they, they wanted that call right right right. i know i know it's just it's just i, I know how much it means to any parent to yeah. get a call like that and so it's just like the pressure on that call felt like really high for me right and so once I got that one out of the way. I remember you were not, you, we were alone at the time. We were um, like travel. we were in two different places. I can't remember why. Yeah, but I was at a camp spot, like a private camp spot, and I like got out of the car and I just did like one of these, like, woo! And I was <laughs> yeah. pumped, and that was more like my big release of energy. But yeah, being, then we popped the champagne, took some pictures. Yep, once we saw the video with the music on it. <laughs> Yes. It was... Uh, well, the audio is very sweet, too. And honestly, a lot of people like that video specifically because they're like, wow, this is exactly how my engagement was. This is relatable. Like, the original video I love, or the one, like, the slowed down uh, one with music on it is the one that I love. Uh, but, you know, it looks very... I think people probably watched that and was like, oh, my God, their engagement was so romantic. Like, mine wasn't that way. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, or maybe right. other people's, I'm sure, is romantic. But, like, they just... Maybe theirs was a little bit awkward. Or, like, right. it's more human. And they looked at ours and was like like oh there's is like this or something you know what i'm saying it was like yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't real i had put music on it and uh and slowed it down it looks very like magical and majestic which it was in the sense that the sunset was perfect it's in this really special place to us but then when i posted the audio people were like oh my god i like this so much better because this was just like my engagement like right. this this was my proposal i told my fiance shut up for 10 minutes right. and i thought he was joking and and whatever else and so i right. think it was just it's much more relatable with the actual audio right that's true but at the time, while it was all happening, it all felt very blurry and like, oh it, God, like yeah. in terms of my memory. So like, having the other version is just also nice for me because I'm like, yeah, that that is what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good way to remember it. I remember it more like the video with the music and slowed down right. uh, because that's the video I've watched now ten million times. And it also was really special because both of our dogs are in the video. Like they both came over when he was proposing. Right. And so just just to have like. 50 seconds or so of that moment and to have our dogs in there uh just feels particularly special but now we are engaged and we're gonna be planning a wedding so that's our our van life fiance moment and i'm sure people are wondering if we're going to stay in two vans or 
go down to one van. And we will be going down to one van. Never. We are a two <laughs> van fam forever and always. But we are a two van fam. Yes! That's the story. Let me give you guys the close up. There we go. Can you see it? It's my one and only diamond. Okay, well, what are we doing tonight? Are we going anywhere? Um, okay, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna make sure we go somewhere else and I will bring you along with us. But that is our engagement story. We are officially engaged. True. <laughs> okay. We in fact did not end up going anywhere else for the day. Henry went to the gym, is now watching football, and I will be drinking wine. And so we are going to be hanging out in Henry's van. Okay, this is our nightly position. I will show you what it looks like pretty much every night when we're in a hotel parking lot. Okay, so we're sliding doors facing in. We have my van here, and then the living room over here where all of the dogs currently are. Let's say goodnight to all of the pups. This is the dog lounge. We have Ella and Pearl. Hi, Ella. The little one. Hello. See? Oh. <laughs> okay, this is the rest of our evening. I am planning on my iPad, drinking wine. And Henry's watching a football game. So I know this video was chaotic per usual, um, but we're getting there. We are getting better. Also earlier today, I was thinking about how I mentioned the fact that I go in between times of posting on YouTube and every single day I post on Instagram, at least in the stories, but I tend to post videos on Instagram and TikTok very often. So if you want to see like daily van life happenings and what we are up to, you can always follow me there. It's divine on the road, the same thing as here. So cheers friends.